Hey guys, today's video is going to be about a pretty mean Americana from mount, specifically a high mount. I'm going to use a lot of shoulder pressure to slice my opponent's bicep, make him uncomfortable, make him bend his arm to give me the Americana. So all of us learn an Americana early on in jiu-jitsu, very early on. All of us learn about the mount position. This is a little bit meaner technique for an Americana. This is really good for when the guy moves a lot to hold him still, and I'm going to trap that arm. I like to refer to it as the slice and dice Americana for mount. So let's take a look here. One thing that's important about this, this uh, move is I want to make sure my feet aren't low. So a lot of us like to play low in mount, we like to grapevine. I don't want to have my legs entangled. I also don't want to be low because to finish this Americana, I need to be up higher so I can use my body to lengthen his arm. We'll see here in a second. Bow wraps um, an overhook to trap and roll or whatever. So I wanna make sure I base out. This gives me a good opportunity to sneak up into his armpits. If I, if I was bent and I straighten my arm, I can sneak up to here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my head on the ground at a 45 to his head. This is already uncomfortable. I'm gonna to start to squeeze my bicep, dropping my shoulder down. It gets uncomfortable. From there, I'm gonna move my body out over it. Again, keeping a good pinch with the legs. As I make this more and more uncomfortable, I can really Start to work it straight if Bo bends his arm. I can grab it. And from here, this one's gonna be a really slightly bent. This one you'll feel a lot more in the elbow than you would in the shoulder. So very important that I have a good connection with my feet so I'm high up enough. If he gets an overhook, I say that's just fine. I'm gonna put my head on the ground. Now I'll just hang out here. I can use this other hand to kind of control. But when I'm ready to attack, I can jack that arm up a little bit and I'm gonna lengthen my body over the elbow. Again, slicing down with my bicep onto his biceps. I can finish it straight, but if he bends it to relieve the pressure there, I'm gonna grab it, come up, crank. Again, it's gonna be usually a little bit straight, but a little bit of bend as well. It's gonna be more on the elbow and less in the shoulder. Very good position for control as well. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. Check me out on social media at Ben underscore Agley.